Solar Being Abundance and Prosperity Dear Brothers of Planet Earth, I am Animane, the Solar Being. I bring all the energy of the Son of Alcyon, all the energy of light, love, prosperity, and abundance. We like to represent our Sun in gold, not golden yellow. The golden color represents abundance and prosperity in the universe. So many wonders what abundance is because they don't see it, feel it, or live it. So I can tell each of you, that you have something abundant in each of you. The life, the energy that keeps you alive, is passed to you through your breath, and within the air, you breathe life. There is vital energy for your body, and you receive it in abundance allowing you to stay alive. Their bodies need to be fed, but without vital energy, they stop and don't continue life. So, first of all, be grateful to be alive. Many can't feel this gratitude for the problems they experience for the physical issues they have. Likewise, gratitude is essential. And why? Because when you encounter such issues, such difficulties, which are choices of your soul, you have the opportunity to evolve, to take a leap forward. Many don't understand that the pain and suffering that their souls impose on their bodies are forms of evolution, and they are. These sufferings make you stop to learn something and evolve at some point that your soul knows that it has not learned along the way and is trying to learn now. It may be difficult for each of you. Still, it is this gratitude for everything that attracts abundance, that attracts prosperity. Each obstacle, each mishap along the way, each pain, each loss, everything that you interpret as suffering, is a point of attention. It is a point of evolution. Abundance and prosperity come when you go through this point, and you are grateful for the learning and opportunity to go through that point of evolution. Everything you do, to the contrary, attracts scarcity, attracts losses even more. That is why many cannot be abundant in anything. They only complain and look at the pain and suffering. They don't understand such suffering and can't go through them and evolve. So they attract more and more pain, suffering, and a lot of scarcity. No one goes hungry because God has determined God the Father slash Mother doesn't ask this of anyone and doesn't provoke this. God the Father slash Mother is unanimous in believing. Their children must have everything. Abundance, joy, love, and prosperity. What brings about scarcity and hunger? The soul journey. What did your soul do previously? One day later, you will have this awareness and knowledge of everything you did in the past, which will explain so much suffering many times. No one goes through obstacles because they choose. Choose what I say, and then decide to go through a problem. No one makes that choice. It was made in the past, not in the present. The choice made in the present will be reflected in the future. But at the current time, it would be exciting. If someone chose to go through a problem of their own free will, this is a problematic action, because it can bring improbable returns. Usually, all suffering and pain come from the past, from this, and from other lives. But the focus here for me today is abundance. It's prosperity. Each soul, at birth, brings with it its share of abundance and prosperity available to it and that, according to its journey, according to its evolution, will reach its hands, bringing lessons along with it and bringing happiness, a lot of happiness. Now it is interesting to observe how many misuses this abundance. The universe presents them and they don't know how to take advantage of it, they simply don't appreciate it. And in the same way that the universe presents, the universe takes away because that person didn't know how to keep what he received. It's interesting how the universe is wise. It keeps prosperity and abundance as a condition of its own walk. If you are walking towards the light, walking towards your evolution, abundance comes and stays. Of course, you know how to take advantage, knowing how to manage all the abundance that comes. Because if you get dazzled and start to emanate feelings that aren't proper to the light, this abundance will disappear. Because this abundance is only compatible with feelings of light. Therefore many receive a lot and lose right there. 
because they didn't emanate feelings of their own at that moment. They emanated negative feelings, contrary to the light, and they lost everything. No, don't compare what I'm saying with those who earn illicitly. Abundance comes to them by stealing from other people. They are stealing others' abundance, not receiving their own abundance. By their actions, they are taken from others. But how does the universe allow this? Yes, it allows it because the one who is doing. It will also have his lesson, and it will not be very beautiful times ahead. Then I ask you, why are many hungry today? What did they do back there to get to this extreme? Back there. They took away the abundance of many and made many starve. Today they are getting it back, nothing goes unpunished. So, don't think that the universe is colluding. Giving abundance to those people who are illegally attracting it. She is stealing from others. Now, those who are stolen don't know it. And it is clear that the universe replaces what is stolen. These people are never harmed. Now those who did so, who stole, will indeed receive the result of their own choices. So no, don't think that the universe is unfair because it isn't. The universe gives and also takes away according to the walk. So summarizing everything I've said so far, abundance comes from your gratitude. Abundance comes from your understanding, from each evolutionary point of your journey. Abundance comes from every lesson learned and from love for others, from doing good, and from donating. This attracts abundance, and this attracts prosperity. And it is good that you understand that when we talk about abundance, we aren't just talking about the energy of money. We are talking about an abundance of health, a harmonious life, a good job, happy moments with your family, pure relationships, and truth. This is all abundance, not just money. Money is just one of the energies that are contained in abundance. So always be grateful. And I will leave a little exercise here. As I said at the beginning, every soul that is born is born with its share of abundance, its share of prosperity, with its share of the energy of exchange, which for you is the energy of money. Everyone is born with it. And it is abundant, very abundant. So just see in your hands a golden ball. This ball represents all that you have available to you in the universe. No, don't make it big. It doesn't matter how big it is, it's just representative, and everyone gets the same thing. So there's no point in creating this huge ball because it won't represent the truth. Everyone gets the same thing, and all souls get the same share of abundance. Then create a small golden ball that fits in your hands. And it represents all that share, all that your soul is entitled to in the universe because it is hers. Then, from this ball, make gold coins come out of it. Then yes, you will be multiplying your abundance, your money energy on this planet. Do this exercise daily, and you don't have to fill a big room all at once because this golden ball is magic. If you transform it every day and make it return gold coins, even in small amounts, abundance will come to you. For the universe, there isn't this correspondence of one coin with little abundance, many coins with a lot of abundance. What matters to the universe is you believe that the ball will give you many coins, but enough coins to bring a lot of abundance into your world. It doesn't matter the value nor how many there will be. What matters is the act you are doing, which is to transform this golden ball into gold coins. Ah, but will this ball have an end? No. It will not have an end because its share is very large. It is immense. But it's no use wanting to bring all the coins at once. This balance brings abundance. Greed drives away abundance. Remember this. Few coins, lots of abundance, lots of coins, greed, no abundance. Know how to emanate the right feeling. And at the end of this little exercise, be grateful. If you manage to produce a single coin, be grateful because it's enough to bring abundance. To you at that moment, that's what you can receive. Don't forget this, you also have a walk. And maybe at this point in the walk, you can't get many coins. You can only get one. And at that moment, that single coin will be necessary for your existence, for your life. So just be grateful for whatever comes. How much doesn't matter. What matters is that you are attracting abundance. And again, it's not just going to be an abundance of money energy. It's going to be total abundance. Abundance in all areas of your life. Much or little. 
it will depend on your walk, but you will get it. Start noticing your life after this exercise. Now, never forget, that the most important thing in all of this, which is the only feeling, which is the catalyst and maintainer of all this abundance, which is gratitude. Don't forget it, no matter how much you suffer, no matter how much you have mishaps in your life. It is the one who tells the universe that you are fulfilling your mission and that you receive everything with love, and you know that each point is a point. It is a leap of evolution and that you are ready for it, whatever it may be. Channeled by Anjos E. Luz Terapias.